What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Soul Vice. My name is Steven Webb and today we're going to be taking a look at the Air Jordan 14 in the Toro or Gem Red colorway. Now, if you spend any time around the channel, you already know how we do things. This is going to be an in-depth review. I'm going to break these things down and let you know exactly what the details are. I'm going to let you know my opinion about them. And of course, you're going to be getting a 4K on-feet look at them as well. I'm going to show you what they look like with a couple different pairs of pants. So that way you really know if these are something you want to cop for yourself. But real quick, before we get started, do you guys sense like a different vibe? Something's different. Something's, I don't know, something's changed. If you look down below the video, your boy finally hit a thousand subscribers and I say finally, but really I hit it way before I thought I was going to. I was looking to hit a thousand subscribers at like year two on YouTube and I'm not even a year and a half into it and I've already hit a thousand subscribers. And that's just thanks to every single one of you who's watching this video right now. So if you're somebody who's watched a video, if you've subscribed, if you hit that like button, hit the notification bell, all that, thank you so much. Like I seriously appreciate every single one of you. So we're at a thousand now. Now it's on to the next milestone, which is going to be 2000. We're officially on the road to 2000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, make sure if you're into sneakers, if you're into reviews of sneakers, if you're into news about sneakers, I just did my first custom on my last video, which you can check out. I'll put the link up here in the corner and down in the description as well. If you're one of these people, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when I post new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button as well. Now, something I've been doing recently on my videos that I'm gonna continue to keep doing is if you check the description below, you're gonna find all the timestamps for each individual part of the video. So whether that's the sizing or that's the materials used, if you're looking for something specific and you just wanna get in and get out, it's gonna be super easy for you to find below. But I promise you this, if you're somebody who's like me, who likes to watch a video from beginning to end, go ahead, sit back, relax with your favorite snack, your favorite beverage, you're not gonna be wasting your time Time, I'm gonna be giving you value from beginning to end of the video. That's my promise to you. All right, so the Air Jordan 14 and the Gym Red or Toro colorway. These are super fire. This is my first pair of Air Jordan 14s. So I'm super stoked to get a pair of 14s in the collection. And apparently I'm not the only one who liked these because these sold out instantly everywhere online. Once they hit the stores, they were gone. So I'm really glad that I have these. I almost didn't get my pair actually. Um, I actually reserved these through the Finish Line app a few days ago. So once I knew that I got my pair, like I didn't even try for them when they released this morning. I was just like, you know, let everybody else see it. I'm not trying to get any extra pairs or anything. You're Mr. Nice Guy? <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna get my pair from Finish Line and call it a day. So the things told me that I could get my shoes between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. So I wasn't really stressing about it. That's plenty of time. That's a pretty big window. So my wife and I went out, had breakfast with my parents. It was a good day. I get to the mall, walk in finish line, show them my reservation. She's like, all right, cool. I'll go to the back and see if I can find your pair. She comes back and she's like, yeah, we don't have them. And I was like, what do you mean you don't have them? Like they're reserved. And she's like, yeah, well, we didn't get the shipment in. So I was pretty pissed. I left the store. Um, I started walking around the mall, just like I went to like Foot Locker and Champs just to see if they had any pairs. I don't, I think they said they didn't even get any pairs. So I went out to the parking lot and I was like, you know what, let me call them just so that way, like I can give them my phone number. So if my pair does show up in the next few hours or, you know, the next day or whatever, they can just call me so I know that they have them. So when I called, the dude was like, yeah, like I'm going to check and see because sometimes like we don't ever get the shipment. Like it just goes back to the distribution warehouse because I guess they actually had a COVID case at their store. So they were shut down for two weeks. So he he was like, I need to check and see if we're actually ever gonna get the shipment because it might just get sent back. So I was like, bro, like if I'm gonna miss my pair just because like you guys didn't get a shipment when you told me I had my shoe, like I'm gonna be really pissed because I would have tried for another pair this morning on sneakers or whatever. But anyway, I gave him my phone number and thankfully like in like five, 10 minutes, like right before I was about to pull out of the parking lot, he was like, yo, like my stock guy just broke down the shipment we just got and we've got your size 12. So thankfully I was able to get my size 12 today. I missed them. I almost missed them by like that much. So I'm really glad that I got these and I avoided that headache. All right, so let's just jump straight into the sneaker now. We're gonna start off with the materials. So on the upper here, we've got mostly a new buck upper. The new buck that's used here is really, really nice. It's not the best I've ever seen, but I, I actually really like it a lot. It's nice and soft. The red looks so good on this new buck. Um, around the toe, you do have uh, suede, and then that suede is gonna continue up onto the tongue as well. The suede, same thing here nice suede it's nice and soft 
Um, it's pretty high grain, so you can kind of like move it back and forth and see it change directions which I like, and that pretty much does it for the upper. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is actually one of three different versions of the Air Jordan 14. So when they first released, there was kind of like three different versions. You had these, which is kind of like the Nubuck pair, and then you also have the leather pair being leather, but you've also got this like rib side panel. So for example, the Last Shot 14s, and then you have the Ferrari version of the Air Jordan 14. So they're all influenced by the Ferrari, but there's like the Ferrari 14s, which are the red Ferraris, and then recently we had the yellow Ferraris and then the black Ferraris. So the main difference between uh, those and then like the other two pairs is it's basically one panel. So whether it's suede um, or leather, you've got one panel like all the way across the shoe. So on these, you've got like different panels, um, different layers on the shoe. On that one, it's pretty much all one layer. I think this is probably my favorite version. There's like a few different details that I like more, but one thing that I really like on these so you've got this like squared off ridge kind of like right along the laces. It really stands out on this pair. Um, the Ferrari pair doesn't even have that ridge. And then on the leather pair, since you've already got the ribs like down the side, this just doesn't stand out as much. And just like on this pair, since it's this flat kind of just like straight up panel of new buck uh, tied up straight along this ridge, it just makes it look super athletic. It's really difficult for me to describe, but I really, really like the way that that looks. Um, I just think that the shape of this shoe really pops with this version of the Air Jordan 14. Now moving down to the midsole, you've got this Phylon midsole, which is nice and cushiony. I really like Phylon. Um, and then within the sole, you've got some air zoom units as well. So these are actually nice and comfy to walk with. And just like the main shape of the shoe, I think they're pretty comfy as well. And then down on the outsole, uh, you've got pretty much just a rubber outsole. Now on a couple of different versions of the Air Jordan 14, this shank plate in the middle might be carbon fiber, just depending on what colorway you're looking at. On this, it's just kind of like this hard plastic. So as I mentioned earlier, these are designed with exotic cars in mind. Jordan loved his Ferraris and his other exotic cars. So Tinker Hatfield wanted to design these with that in mind. So the first thing that really lets you know, in my opinion, that these are designed with cars in mind is gonna be the logo on the side here. So you've got the Jumpman logo, but it's inside of what looks like the Ferrari shield. Uh, so that's a very, very familiar look if you're familiar with cars at all. On the back of the shoe here, you've got this rubber panel. Now to somebody who's just kind of glancing at the shoe or to the untrained eye, that might just look like some rubber detailing on the shoe, but if you look closer, it's actually a lot like tire tread and that continues onto the outsole as well. Now also while we're back here on the shoe on the heel, you'll see these two little red hits. Those are supposed to be taillights. And then the inner side of the shoe has this uh, air scoop right down here on the midsole. And that's actually functional. So you'll see like a little metal mesh grate on the inside there that actually goes straight through to the inside of the shoe. So it'll keep your shoe breathable, but it's just a really, really cool detail. Like this is the only pair of shoes I know of that has an air scoop on it. And then the last thing that I'm aware of that kind of like gives a nod to cars, these teeth that are on the side, um, it also continues onto the back here as well. On this pair is actually like a pearlescent white. So if you've ever seen a car that's painted white with a pearl white, that's the same paint that you've got on here, which I've never seen pearl paint really on shoes before. You just see it a lot on cars, especially on expensive cars. And honestly, that was something that I didn't even notice until I pulled them out of the box. From all the photos that I saw online, I just kind of thought that that was like another part of the white midsole. But when I pulled them out of the box and I saw that pearlescent paint, it was just yet another way that they were able to tie an exotic car into the shoe and I just thought that was pretty dope. So a fun fact that I wanted to let you guys know about the Air Jordan 14 is that they really, really wanted you to know that this was the Air Jordan 14. So what I mean by that is each shoe, the left and the right shoe have seven different Jumpman logos. So you've got one on the toe, you've got one on the side, you've got one on the back, that's three. You've got the fourth one down here on the outsole. Each lace aglet has their own Jumpman logo which by the way, these lace aglets are pretty cool. You've got these metal tips. Each one has a Jumpman logo, so that's five and six. And then the insole on the heel, you've got a Jumpman logo there as well. So that's seven for 14 between the two shoes. Now, technically on the new Air Jordans, they've started putting a Jumpman logo on the size tag. So that makes eight. So they kind of screwed that up on these. But obviously when the shoes first came out, they didn't have that Jumpman logo right there. So it was seven for a total of 14. And then on the back of the tongue, you've got a Roman numeral 14. And then you've also got a Roman numeral 14 on the outsole as well. So they, again, they really, really wanted you to know this was the 14th model of the Air Jordan. There's really not a whole lot of other Air Jordans I can think of that like go that far out of their way to, to let you know what number in the series it is. 
but I just thought that was kind of a cool fact I'd let you guys know. Now, as far as sizing goes on these, I went true to size and that worked out perfect. I would just say whatever size you normally get in Air Jordan retros, just go with that. Again, for me, that's true to size. For you, that might be something else. Or if you get a chance and you see a pair of Air Jordan 14s, try those on. I don't know how easy that's gonna be. This is not a very um, common model for them to release. And like I said, these sold out instantly. But if you have an opportunity to try some 14s on, go ahead and do that. But if you don't, again, I would just go with whatever you normally buy. Or if you haven't purchased Air Jordans before, just go true to size and you should be okay. So like I said, this is my first pair of Air Jordan 14. So I can't really say definitively whether or not these are gonna be a comfortable shoe. But I will say that just from putting them on, walking around in them a little bit, they have been very comfortable. Um, Phylon, I really like that as a midsole technology. And then Zoom Air, also another midsole technology that I like. So I think with those two things mixed together, these are gonna be pretty comfortable. The shape of them work well with my feet. The materials here are nice and soft. So these I think are gonna be a comfortable shoe in the long run, but I just can't say for sure, for sure. The one thing I will say though, is that the heel on this shoe kind of like scoops forward. So it kind of like presses on your Achilles. It doesn't like dig in and it's not painful. At least it hasn't been for me. Um, I haven't worn them all day, so maybe that would change if you wear them all day. Like the best way that I can kind of like describe it is if you're standing like straight up with your legs like straight up and down, you're gonna feel pressure right there. If you angle your legs forward just a little bit, it's kind of like gonna match up with the angle on the back here. But I did think that was something worth mentioning, but overall I do think these are gonna be a pretty comfortable shoe. Now something pretty crazy about these is that if you would have asked me like a couple of years ago, like where I would rank the Air Jordan 14 as far as Air Jordans 1 through 14, the ones that Michael Jordan wore as a Chicago Bull, I would have probably put the 14s down in like at least the bottom five, maybe even bottom three. I was not a fan of 14s for a very long time, but I'm gonna tell you right now, these are probably gonna be my top like three or five pickups for 2020. Like these are so fire. 14s have grown on me in general, and I've really regretted not getting the last shot 14s, especially after the last dance and the prices have like skyrocketed up to like 500 bucks for my size. So I'm really, really happy to get a Bulls colorway on an Air Jordan 14. And to tell you the truth, I kind of like this version of the 14 the best, like this new buck version with this like smooth like side panel. The shape on this is just like really like aggressive and like it looks really athletic and the shape on these is incredible. The colorway is fantastic. You're gonna see from the on feet footage in the review that these are gonna go with a lot of different pairs of pants. It's gonna be really hard to your fit up wearing these. So these are gonna get a lot of wear, I can tell you that right now but I'm super, super into these. Let me know down in the comments, did you guys end up copying these? After watching the review, if you haven't already, are you gonna go ahead and pull the trigger? And again, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button if you like 14s, and if you like the on-feet footage, and then make sure to crack that notification bell, that way you're notified when I post new videos. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video, later.